Hi everyone in cloud computing. Welcome to the very first Cloud Computing Australia show with Brad Nelson, an internationally recognized and number one cloud industry expert and thought leader, David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialists, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. In this week's show, David and I will be talking about what are the major industries in Australia that are adopting cloud computing, and is it different from the other regions in Asia Pacific, and how about the rest of the world? Hi Dave, how's it going? It's going great Brad, how's tomorrow? <laughs> Tomorrow's great. I'm going to send those lottery numbers over uh, just after this call. <laughs> Yeah, and the stock market closing numbers too. I need to invest quickly. <laughs> Fantastic. They're on their way. So, Dave, the first question would be, what are the major industries in Australia that are adopting cloud computing at the moment? Well, it's manufacturing and it's finance. And finance seems to be adopting cloud computing everywhere in Australia is no, uh, is no different. Um, so when I was at Cloud Technology Partners and we did uh, engagements and did cloud uh, migrations, uh, the interest in Australia came mostly from banking uh, folks. Next, it would be uh, retail industry, believe it or not, which is typically not as strong everywhere, but for some reason in Australia, it seems to be booming. And you're seeing a lot of interest in uh, people who are looking to automate what hasn't been automated yet, you know, making migrations, primarily for cost reduction. And then third, it would be healthcare. Um, Australia seems to be uh, behind a bit and some of the healthcare automation. And so the stepping up to the plate and regulatory issues and stepping up to the plate in terms of uh, automating healthcare systems or even manual processes today, uh, seen where, where the focus is. And recent article, you know, it shows that, uh, you know, cloud computing adoption in Australia right now is booming. Uh, in fact, I would say that it goes, you know, well beyond most of the other, you know, countries outside of the United States. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see you know, how far Australia goes and how they are able to, you know, kind of uh, slog along in the, in, in the cloud computing space. Probably entered a little late, um, but they seem to be catching up quickly. And how do you see it uh, being different from other regions in Asia Pacific? Well, I think Australia is, is going to be more um, very European-like. Uh, so in the APAC regions and the other regions in China, China and Japan, things like that, we have to deal with um, cultural issues that are around hardware and software that they leverage. So uh, one of the things I noticed when I was doing business in Japan and in China is that they, they, they have to deal with double byte character set enablement stuff. They have to deal with a lot of stuff, which has to be a requirement. There's a necessary requirement in Australia and certainly the European region and certainly the United States and South, you know, even uh, South America. So they end up with unique solutions that are kind of very custom for what they do. And so the businesses, I think, are much more conservative. Um, they like to keep things on premise. Uh, the businesses may not have a lot of money to spend. The economy is still you know, a bit uh, a laggard now in Japan. Uh, it's exploding in China, but China still has to deal with regulatory issues. They have to deal with government issues, political issues. You know, they're really kind of limiting that. Where Australia, it's it's a big tech tech party. Um, so they're trying to go as fast and as quickly as they can with the technology uh, to bring value to the existing businesses. And and so it's I think it's just a matter of will, and it's also a matter of opportunity. And I think they see both right now. So comparatively, Australia, in context of the rest of the world within cloud computing, it's had a it came to the market um, as you said. Uh, later to the table. So how's it, how's it bearing up and, and pulling its weight now? Uh, it's more than pulling its weight. So, you know, it's, it's a smaller country with, with, uh, with fewer population and fewer gross national product. And so it can speed up mm. quickly. You know, that's sure. the upside of having, uh, having that. So it's able to kind of tr turn on a dime around existing opportunities within the technology space. And Australia has a long history in doing that. They've been an innovative culture, um, always enjoyed working with the companies down there. They're always adopting things early mm. and looking for opportunities with technology. And I think that the culture within these companies is to experiment, innovate, uh, and take risks. And they understand that's the way to have to, that you're able to gain. And so they're moving as quickly as they can, um, you know, as with as many resources as they can. And But I think it's actually smart what they did. I mean, a lot of these companies you know, waited till other uh, folk, uh, other companies, specifically in the United States, made some big mistakes and learned from them. 
And so now we have some best practices and patterns that are in essence adopted around mistakes and epic fails that you know some of the major global 2000 companies have made. And so Australia is kind of building on top of that. So they're not making the mistakes that they've already been made by other people and they don't have to pay for them. Hmm. Who do you know in, within the Australian market that you see leading the way within uh, cloud computing? Uh, the banking, every bank in Australia, Bank of Australia, I think is the big one. Hmm. Um, but uh, there's a half a dozen banks that are, you know, have uh, deep senior vice presidents of cloud computing who are running the Australian hmm running the cloud computing efforts and they're they're investing major money in terms of billions of dollars that are going into upgrading their infrastructure around leveraging cloud and other technologies as well you know IoT and big data and machine learning based systems but you know cloud is really kind of the essence of it all so any bank um, I think I wouldn't say all of them but uh, most of the major banks in Australia are investing in cloud computing right now Great. Well, thanks, Dave. I really appreciate your time uh, this week on the on the show. So I'm, I'm really pleased that you're part of it and that you really bring some interesting insights to the table. So thanks again for your, your time, Dave. Oh, my pleasure. I'm in it for the stock quotes. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, well, thanks, everyone, for watching. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the weekly cloud computing shows, including the cloud computing news. You can also reach us on Twitter at David Linthicum and Nelson underscore Hilliard. Thanks again for watching, folks. <laughs>